and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I got a few things for you guys in this video. We got the flashbacks, the new free superstar KO player, and we got the Harvest Daily Riddle. I'm going to start with the riddle for you guys. I know you guys want to see that first, most likely. So you guys can start playing that solo while we're listening to the rest of my video, of course. So I was hoping there'd be an LTD today because I feel like we're due for a Harvest LTD. There is not, surprisingly. EA is not money grabbing as shit. I thought that would have came already. They're probably saving it all for the Blitz. They know they're going to run our pockets during the Blitz. But I just figured out the riddle. Took me about a minute. Honestly, was not that bad. Figuring out these riddles are easier than usual because it's just based on a game. So you go like on profootballreference.com, you figure it all out. For all you guys who are wondering how we all figure this out so quickly. But I'll get the riddle for you guys. We got the two flashbacks. We got Robert Wood and I think Tremaine Johnson or John John or Josh. John. I, I forget which one's which, but you guys get the point. I'm gonna go over that. And we got the free Mitchell Trubisky Superstar KO card. So I'm gonna go over that too. But before we get into the video, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Turn on that noti bell. Come join the family, boys. We're about 500 to 400 subscribers away from 13k, so let's get there as quickly as possible. The goal by Christmas is about 16k, so hopefully we can get to that point by uh, the new year at least. And comment down below what you think of the flashback players. Uh, comment down below if you guys are playing your dailies, and also let me know what you guys think of the Mitchell Trubisky card that we're gonna get. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 300 likes on a 10:30 content video? You guys have been killing it at 10:30 with the likes, so can we get getting more and more? Can we get to 300 likes? Everyone watching right now, smash that like button. Now let's get into the Harvest Daily Solos. So the first Harvest Daily Solo is back in my daily, obviously. We got, we're up to number five. I still have to play records only mean so much, but we got lose, or no, close, but no cigar. My mic was covering the, the C. The 2010 Saints were versus Cowboys showcased the largest comeback in Thanksgiving Day history, which is true. Select your two answers from the artwork below. Use the correct answer to complete this challenge. So I did it by process of elimination. The game was played in a blizzard. It was weird because how could you play in a blizzard? I mean, the game would have to literally start during a blizzard for it to be that one, because obviously you can't make it blizzard. But as we go down, B, the Cowboys rushed for a touchdown. C, the Saints won by 7. And D, the Cowboys won by 27 points total. So the Blizzard, I don't think they played in a Blizzard, so I left that out. B, the Cowboys rushed for a touchdown. I think all three of their touchdowns are actually rushing touchdowns from what I can see on Pro Football Reference. So B is the first correct answer. The Saints won by 7. The score was a difference of 3 points. It was 30-27, to 27, so there was not C. And the Cowboys scored 27 points total. So the Cowboys scoring 27 points total is going to be the i believe the third one and then also rush for touchdown so it says win the game is the first requirement number one in the second half and the second half is just score a touchdown so you have to score a touchdown in the second half so it starts in the third quarter with 10 well with two minutes actually so you have between the third quarter with two minutes left to the end of the fourth quarter but in the second half you have to score the touchdown obviously and you have to score 27 points i don't know if they start with zero points it says down by seven i don't know what the what the deal is with that but if you start with 20 points, you only need one touchdown. If you start with zero points, which I don't know if it is, but if you start with zero points, you're going to have to score 27 points. So pretty much, you need 27 points. If the game starts at 20, you need seven points. If the game starts at zero, you need 27 points. And unless they want you to score at all, that all depends. You'll obviously see when you get into soul, but pretty much just score the ball, rush for touchdown, B and D are the correct answers. Now, let's head over to Twitter to go check out the flashback and then obviously the Superstar KO player. Let me show you guys the Superstar KO player before I get into the flashbacks so I can get that done real quick. So to get to Draft Champs, or not Draft Champs, or should I say Superstar KO mode, you have, to, you have to back out of the mode, I believe. I don't know if you can enter from Ultimate Team. I've never really checked, to be quite honest with you. So Superstar KO mode, you guys should already know what this is by now. An interactive, very close-paced, arcadey feeling game mode. Now, the reward for this week is Mutt Player Item Nat 86 overall Mitchell Trubisky. Now, a lot of you guys might not care about Mitchell Trubisky, but for a lot of budget teams or new players coming around now, a 86 overall quarterback isn't honestly the worst thing that you could honestly actually have. And even as a backup, just to put chems on if you go do so, he's 86 overall. You have six days to get it. You need 15,000 XP. 15,000 XP is not hard to get at all. Honestly, these games go super, super quick. They're really fun to play. And quite honestly, guys, I'm letting you know, if you guys get into this mode, you're going to get addicted. I played this for like four days straight when it first came out, and I didn't even need a reward. It was just fun to play. Obviously, I haven't played in quite a while, but if you guys start playing, you won't even notice you're getting XP because it's actually fun to play. Other modes, like maybe House Rules, is like a drag because you're just going for the player, but this one is actually fun to play. You can enjoy it. I recommend you go get it done now. As far as Mitch Trubisky's stats, probably have like 83, 84 pass accuracy, maybe like a 78, 79 speed, decent throw deep maybe, maybe decent throw power. Going to be a well-rounded quarterback with decent athleticism. Well, why do I think he's going to fit most teams? Probably not, but maybe on a bare steam team or even just a budget team that doesn't have a quarterback yet or a brand new player who just started the game. This could be useful for a lot of people. You have to anticipate that there's probably more new guys and lower overall teams than there are God Squad. So I can anticipate this might help a few people. Hopefully for who I just showed this to, it does help. Now let's head over to the flashback, show you guys all those stats. So the first flashback that we have is Robert Woods, 91 overall for the Buffalo Bills. 
Stats look pretty decent, not gonna lie, considering the facts. Now, the only funny thing is that Robert Woods got this for 2014 Week 12 on the Buffalo Bills. I think he had like 100-something yards and a touchdown. Not too great. I don't know why the, he needed a flashback card for that day. But he is 6 feet tall. His salary cap is 45. He has that route technician-looking archetype. So that, that could be good, depending. I don't really know, again, how archetypes work too well. I understand the running back ones, but I don't really focus on the other positions. He can be powered up. So he has an 89 speed, 87 jumping, 92 catching, 87 catch traffic, 86 spec catch, 87 short route running, and 89 medium route running, and 86 deep route running. Now, let's see what this car could look like. If you power up and chem him up, he will have above 90 speed, a great catching stat, could with go deep hit 90 catch in traffic, could get the deep route running up to a 90, will get medium route running up to a 90, and could potentially get short route running up to a 90. So he's going to be a great route runner with really good catching and really good speed. He's going to be a very well-rounded, great receiver. Not a bad option, especially for like a Buffalo Bills or Rams theme team. Going to definitely be useful. Would I personally pick him up? No, because I, I, with the coins I have, I like to get, you know, there's some other receivers I prefer. But he kind of looks like a budget Tory Holt where he has a budgetary hope with better catching, but obviously less speed and route running. You're pretty much offsetting the route running for the, the catching stats, because obviously the catching traffic on Tory Holt is not going to be, is not a 90. I don't think it even hits a 90, even powered up. Well, chemmed up, obviously, for Holt. So the Robert Woods is decent. He'll probably have some decent after the ca after the catch stats, like Juke and Spin, because in real life, they do give him rushing plays, like jet sweeps and stuff, because he is decently athletic. So if he does have a decent amount of Juke and Spin, this card's actually pretty good. One of the better flashback drops they probably had all year, considering how lackluster flashback drops have been this year to be completely honest with you guys i don't envision that this would be on many teams but he is a useful card james winston wasn't bad this card specifically isn't that bad so considering the fact that they're giving us better flashbacks it is exciting i like how when they give us name brand flashbacks their stats suck and they give us guys like woods that no one really cares about of course they give him better stats and guys like winston but as long as the stats are getting better on these cards and they're more usable the better for ultimate team in general because you guys can actually get this for pretty cheap get them as a useful card in your team and especially for theme teams they definitely help now let's head over to the next flashback card and see who they got. It is his last name is Johnson. I forget if it's Tremaine or John or, or Josh. I forget which one's which. I always get confused with the Johnsons. But let's head on over to that card art and go to let you guys know the stats. Okay, right, so real quickly, Tremaine Johnson is not on the auction block or not on Twitter. So I'm going to show you guys his stats on Mudhead. Go over this real quickly. I know you guys probably don't care too much about Tremaine Johnson. Robert Woods is pretty good. Tremaine Johnson, 91 overall cornerback. He has an 87 speed, 87 excel, 88 agility, 69 strength, 86 man coverage, 91 zone coverage, 89 press. 87 jumping, 91 awareness, 91 play rec. He's got 79 catching, 78 spec catch, 80 pursuit, 77 hit power. So he actually has pretty good hit power, pretty good run defense, pretty good hands. Now he's just a little bit on the slower side, but I guess for a Ram steam team or anyone who's a Trey Johnson fan, not bad. He has a 91 zone, 86 man. So powered up and chemmed up if he can get powered up. I don't believe he can, but if he can get powered up, which I'm not entirely sure, but if he can, he will get 90 man and 90 zone and 90 press. And on a Rams steam team, this card's actually going to be, this card could be pretty nasty on a Rams steam team. On a Rams steam team, probably have above 90 speed, all above 90 coverage with an above 80 hit power. So this card actually won't be too bad in a Rams steam team. Like I said, they're giving these cards a lot more potential than before, because at least with the speed being in an 87, it can potentially get to a 90 with the right, uh, the right chems and right stats. I don't know if he can get powered up, obviously, if he cannot, that really limits him. But I guess that remains to be, you know, to be found. I'm not entirely sure if I can see it here. Let's just type it in real quick to see. I'm kind of curious now if he can get it. Tremaine anything Tremaine Johnson no he cannot get powered up so that does kind of limit him guys but that's about it for the stats let's head back on over to the Madden screen all right guys so that is about it for the video if you guys did enjoy today's video going over the flashbacks the harvest dailies and obviously the free Mitchell Trubisky make sure to smash that like button guys I appreciate each and every one of you that watch these 1030 videos now obviously flashbacks are a little lackluster and not because of the stats stats are actually great today not gonna lie the stats are getting a lot better obviously the overalls are increasing so I guess the bias towards better stats are just gonna be there anyways but flashbacks as a whole, never the most exciting stuff, but guys, the stats are getting a lot better on these cards. So hopefully, with the stats becoming better on these cards, we can start enjoying them more. Now, all they gotta do is just combine them, right? They had the Sean McCoy, they had those big names, but with bad stats. Now they have little, tiny names, but they have good stats. So if they could just combine the two with big names and big stats, guys, flashback could really start kicking it up pretty soon and actually start enjoying these cards more so than we did before. As far as today's drops, obviously lackluster. The free Mitchell Trubisky isn't anything to write home about, obviously. It's just a little fun thing. A free reward. You know, you can never get mad at EA. Although the free reward isn't great, you cannot hate on the EA for giving us a free card. Obviously, it's through Superstar KO. It's not even something that probably should even incorporate Ultimate Team to begin with. So, I guess we should just be grateful for it. Hope that EA does include more of this stuff going forward. And as you guys can see, the overalls are going up. So, in the near future, it could start becoming 
88 overall, 90 overalls. It might get to a point where you actually start using these cards. And if they can get chems on them, that's useful because you could put the times two, times three chems on them. So it can be a great backup for you. So I can see a use for these cards in the future, especially as backups. For all you guys asking me how to get chems, how to get go deep maxed out, you guys should go do those. If they can get chems on them, you could easily easily use them as backups just for chems and for all you new teams and budget teams that's definitely very useful considering you guys can go ahead and get a free player in your team even as a fourth string wide receiver such as amari cooper a second string quarterback with chems or even for budget teams a first string uh, quarterback but guys this is about for the video thank you so much for watching if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that notification bell boys get to 13k quickly as possible comment down below what you thought of all this content today and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up i'm out see you guys in the next video peace